Fancy dancing! Oh yeah! This is how we do it! Oh, oh, wait, oh, hi, hi, hi everybody, my name is Python GB. welcome back to the third episode of my Starbad survival series. As you can see, we are currently inside of our little abandoned base of thing. I, I come up with the greatest names for things, don't I? I really do. <laughs> In the last episode, my friends, we managed to grab ourselves a whole bunch of awesome things, including some bars, some iron. We've even got this thing here, the upgrade module, which we managed to obtain from a chest underground, which is pretty awesome. But to start off today's episode, my friend, we are going to make ourselves some armor. As you can see, we can finally make some armor. And by the looks of it, it's pretty cheap to make as well. So we've got three... Five, which is eight, and then two, which is ten. So only ten bars are needed to make all of this arm here. So let's go ahead and make it. All three bits. There we go. Okay, sweet. Is there anything else I can make here? Potentially big slicer, curvy slice, smacker. Oh boy. I managed to, uh, I grabbed this thing out of my inventory because look, it appears to do some sort of flame damage. And while it has a slow speed the dps is still 17 which is reasonable especially compared to the uh, to the sword we have right here so that is awesome so let's head downstairs really quick i just want to see something like right. uh wood planks heavy pipe packed dirt campfire okay pretty cool i don't appear to be able to make any kind of pickaxes yet which is disappointing but oh well uh right what's this iron hunting bow Okay, what's the what's the difference between this and the wooden one? Uh, base max damage seven. Okay, base max damage five. Oh, that's it. I'm I'm buying that then. There we go. Easy, easy money. Right here we go. Oh, chest. Boom. What the? Oh, do I actually have to take this thing off and then put it on? That's weird. Sprouts anklets. Oh, the anklets. Well, duh. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. Right. Circlet, chest guard, and anklets. There we go. All done. And I look absolutely fan smegging tasking. Look at me, man. I look brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. This is brilliant, dude. I love this. Okay, alright, cool, 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 cool. So, uh, Iron Hunting Bird, let's grab that and put that right there. Bada bing, bada boom, there we go. So, in today's episode, my friends, we do need to go back underground, and we need to go quite a lot further down than we have done before, because we need to get some core fragments, and they're found right at the bottom of the world, pretty much. So, yeah, we need to go and do that. But before we do that, let's just make ourselves some of the old plankage, and then some of the old torchage. Torchage? Not even a thing. But oh well. There we go. 111 torches. Fantastic. There we go. So this is a two-handed weapon. Awesome. Oh man. So I've had a bunch of uh, suggestions from you guys. Oh, saying that I should look into the two-handed system in this game. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably have to do that at some point, won't I? All right, here we go. Boom. Actually, I wonder if there's anything over here. I don't think we actually explored it all, did we? Ah. Uh, not really. Let's be honest. But oh well. Boom! Get slammed, son! Alright, let's go down. We need to go all the way down. So I'll tell you what, we've already gone down there before, so I'll meet you guys down at the bottom. Alrighty, guys. We're now approaching the unexplored areas of this place, and can I just say, this weapon is ridiculous. Look at this. One shot. Boom. Dead. <laughs> That's brilliant, dude. I love that. I'm loving the fact I can one-shot everybody now. Well, uh, well, I say everybody, but it's not really everybody, to be honest. Uh, right, so, we need to go ahead and make our way down. It appears to be some sort of room down here. Oh, look at that. There's a gold chest in there. I wonder if there's something cool in there. I'm hoping so. Boom! Get wrecked, son! All right, okay, we need to go ahead and make our way down. Hopefully, there's something cool inside that chest. I mean, look at that. There's like a weird painting in there. Looks like some sort of Robotron. Yeah, Robotron, that's my best description for everything, pretty much. <laughs> oh, man. So, once again, I want to thank you guys uh, for the crazy amount of support you've been showing for the series so far. It's been absolutely amazing. And, of course, like I said, if we can continue that, that would be absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, it's very much appreciated, my friends. All right, what do we got here? A Zaya Lee Ocean Storm. Look at that. Does frost damage by the looks of it. Uh, tech chip and some more generic crap, which we probably don't need. All right, let's pick up the chest and let's skedaddle. Uh, I see another chest, actually, down here. Ooh, so many chests. Uh, more matter, matter module components. What the hell? 
I cannot talk, apparently. I mean, that's not really anything new, to be honest. Alright, okay. Boom! <laughs> I don't know why I do that, man, because those guys are blooming neutral. I just keep hurting him because I'm a jerk bag. Ugh. Okay, boom. Okay, anything down here? I mean, we still need to go, I imagine, anyway, a, a fairly, fairly long way down still, so... Boom! Love that. I love this weapon, dude. It's so good. I'm pretty sure this is uh, lasting flame damage as well, which is brilliant. Wait, okay. Uh, not much down there. Oh, there we go. I mean, we just gotta go down, I guess. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Even though this isn't the sea, I was trying to make a SpongeBob reference. Oh, it didn't go well. Uh, you're good. Hi. <laughs> These guys are all mad. They're, they're good. They got no. They got no problems. Boom. All right, what's this? Ooh, a different kind of chest. Uh, a Teklaki solar gun? I don't get it. What's the damage rate of fire? Damage per shot five, DPS six. Let's look at this. This also does a DPS of six. Right, I'm going to take it. I might wind up, I don't know, selling it or something. Can you sell things on this game? I have no idea. Ah, oh, okay. Let's keep going. Maybe we can find some sort of underground structure or something. Something to keep... Ugh. Will you please go away? Thank you very much. I don't, I don't know. These guys, all they do is try to kill me. And all I'm trying to do is try and make something of myself in this world, you know? These guys are just like, nope. Nope. You're not having nothing for me, son. Hey! Oh, nice. I made it. All right, what do you got? Oh, god damn it. Give me a poison effect, you damn jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. This looks kind of dangerous. Blimey, that lasts a long time, doesn't it? All right, and again. Will I need another one? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't think I trust myself down here, so I'm going to go and do the old uh, make a platform thing. Well, that didn't work too well, did it? <laughs> what the hell? Ha boom! There we go. Can't kill me, son. If you try to kill me, I will kill you back. Harder. That's how it works. I'm sorry. Uh, come on, core cool fragments. You're way down the bottom, I know that. So, I think we're just going to have to do the old dig down. Just dig down. Just don't even care about anything. Just dig down. Ah, boom. You're dead. Okay. Anything... More dudes. Oh, get double killed. Ha! I love that. Oh, that guy just got absolutely wrecked. Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. Ah, that music. I'm telling you, man. This is this is one of the things I love most about this game is the blooming music. It's so good. Apparently, I've got myself stuck. I don't know how that happened, but oh well. It's a thing that did happen, so we just have to accept it. So, yeah. Okay, I think... What the... There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna have to dig down. Just dig down, see if we can find anything cool. If so, I'll bring you guys back. If not, I'll continue digging. Ow. That hurt. Ah, I gotta love the chests. What you got for me this time, buddy? DPS of seven. Ooh. Makes a fancy pew-pew sound. Well, I'm taking that, man. I'm having that. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Ah, sweet stuff. Ah, oh, and give me the chest. Thank you very much. There we go. Ah, another bunch of chests. Another bunch of loot. What you got for me, buddy? Another machine pistol. Okay, interesting. Good rate of fire. What's it compared to this? 6.22, 6.57. Only just better, but... Still don't think I'm going to use it, to be fair. So, yes. Right. Okay. Well, things are still looking good so far, man. Oh! Okay. Oh, I died! Oh, whoops. Oh, well, I wasn't paying attention to my health, apparently, so, uh, my bad. Let's go back down, shall we? Ah, now I see what you guys are on about. I've just been playing around with my inventory in the left and right system, and, uh, basically what you do is if you just go over this, you can see at the bottom here, just below the item, it says L and R. If it says L and R, it means both of your hands are taken up by that item, but... If we go ahead and, for example, uh, if we just take these out for a minute. 
Uh, and if we have a look, so as you can see, this just says L, and then this just says L as well. So it just means one hand is being used. So what you could do is you can go ahead, put them in their slots, and then if you press R, you could toggle between the matter manipulator and then your left and right hand. So as you can see, I've got the gun on my left hand, and then I can right click to use a uh, to use a health bandage, which is pretty damn awesome, man. I'm really glad that you guys uh, taught me about that, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have done it for a long time. So, yeah, much appreciated, my friends. So, let's carry on. Uh, well, that looks interesting. I wonder what that is. Some sort of futuristic underground space core thing? What is this? I've never seen this before. Is there a chest in there? Is there goodies? I want to see. <gasps> Ooh, I've flooded the place. Well, I'm a terrible person now. Uh... Oh, wow, okay, yeah, there are metal cabinets and whatnot. It's pixels and bandages. Okay, so can I pick that up? Oh, I can, nice, okay. Anything else I can pick up? Can I, like, activate anything? No? Oh, look at this, a bunch of crates. Okay, I'm gonna take these. There you go. Uh, got some stuff in that one. Or some stuff, stuff in that one. Yep, okay, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Okay, anything in that one? There is indeed a bunch of pixels. Oh, look at the amount of pixels we're getting, man. This is pretty insane. Hmm, a map. That looks kind of cool. Oh, hey, look at this. Even more. This is awesome. Oh, I love all the things. Metal office desk? <laughs> Even that's a storage unit, man. That's awesome. Wow. This is pretty cool, dude. This is pretty freaking cool. What? This is awesome. There's so many underground structures now. <laughs> Look at this, it's like a little rune sort of thing. What's this? Uh, ah. Eh. Another little machine pistol? One-handed? I might go ahead and put it on here, actually. There we go. Let's go ahead and put that in uh, in the inventory. There we go. And, uh, of course, we'll take the storage unit. Apparently, these are little vases you can break. Nice. Okay. Uh, right, what else have we got there? Little pod over here. What are you going to give me? Yay! Pixels for days! <laughs> Oh, I love that. That's probably my favourite one. It literally it just spurts out pixels everywhere. It's brilliant. Ah, oh. thanks, buddy. I love you forever, Starbound. Oh, oh, god, damn it! Hey, uh, on in. What the? You and your blooming charge, you stupid guy. All right. Oh, he fell down. He fell over, as they say. Uh, do I trust myself? I don't know, man. Alright, let's switch to the two-handed. Let's use a couple of my old bandages. And then I think we're going to go ahead and uh, do this action. Oh, well, that was kind of pointless. Uh, ooh! Hey, guys, we've come across the core fragments. At least I believe that they're core fragments. If I am correct in thinking... There we go, you get double killed again, son! Can't kill me. I am indestructible. Right, I believe these are the core fragments. So, let's see how long it takes to dig them up. Hopefully not too long. Yeah, that is, there we go. Core fragment ores. Oh, that is awesome. So, we need to go ahead and grab as many bits of this as we possibly can. Then we need to get back up top. And then, I don't know if you can smelt them or if you just take them straight back up to the ship to uh, complete the quest. But, uh, whatever the case, we are going to go ahead, dig these all up, and I'm probably going to fast forward it a little bit until we get back to the base. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. we go. Awesome. Now my ship's sail can repair the ship's thrusters and I can visit other planets in the solar system. Sweet. That is awesome. Well, I mean, we're not done yet. I'm going to continue going ahead and capturing as many of these fragments as we can. And then, like I said, I'll meet you guys back at base. Does anyone else think that I kind of look like I'm peeing? Oh, man. This looks kind of strange. <laughs> That little beam is coming out of a very questionable place, but, uh, hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> Ooh, found another chest, and I found this thing. Look how fast it shoots, man. Wow, okay. 
Uh, base DPS 6. This one has 7, I believe it was. Awesome! Oh, man! Why you do this? Let me give me a blooming stupid poison effect. <laughs> Alright, guys. We are back at base and it appears to be flooding over because of the rain. That's an interesting mechanic. I can't see I've seen that before. <laughs> Again, something Terraria doesn't have. The ability to have floods happen. Uh, I don't appear to be able to jump up here anymore. Is it because I'm all wet and rainy? Let's see if this... Uh, let's see. Ah, that's interesting. Ah. Pew, pew, pew. Much pew, many wow. Okay, right. Let's go in here. See if we can't make a bunch of stuff. There we go. Iron bars. Uh, 34 of them. Holy crap, though. That's a lot. Okay, and then 54 copper bars. Wow. Okay, I think uh, I think we're good to go, dudes. I think we're good to go. Let's go back to the ship and let's do some things. All right. So, according to the quests, we should be able to do a whole bunch of stuff now. Oh, man. Okay, right. So, here we go. Repair the ship's thrusters. Uh, yep, 20 core fragments. Yeah, I've done that. Issue command. Ooh. There's a bunny doing some hammering and stuff. Uh, fix the uh, FTL drive. Faster than light drive. Huh, but it's a start. Huh, interesting. Okay, uh, I need to start looking at how to repair my FTL drive. Sale will probably know more. Okay. Uh, upgrade matter manipulator power. Yep, I can actually do that. So there we go. Wait, what? A matter manipulator module? I'm pretty sure we have one, don't we? Upgrade module. Oh, no, you know what? We need diamonds, don't we? We didn't get any diamonds, yeah. Uh, 20 Erceus crystals from somewhere. I could repair the FTL drive. Hmm. We should see where the gate in this system leads us. Okay. Interesting. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we, we can now go in here and then... Ooh, man, this is awesome. Uh, ah, Interesting. A lush planet teeming with life, yet we've done that. The majority of this planet's surface is covered in desert with little plant life. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So, are you a pet? I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> we've got so many things to store. I mean, just look at all the stuff we managed to grab, dudes. I mean, it's ridiculous. But I tell you what, we're going to end the episode here because in the next episode, we're hopefully going to go ahead, get some more quests done, and then maybe go to another planet because that would be awesome. So, yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop me a like, rate, my friends. be much appreciated. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, yes, guys, that will wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for continued support again. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.